Japanese Marshal Admiral of the Imperial Japanese Navy, Iso Roku Yamamoto, was the commander in chief of the combined fleet during the early years of World War II in the Pacific. According to naval historian Mark Still, Yamamoto was instrumental in planning the attack on Pearl Harbor, which was not a strategic priority of the Japanese Navy until he agitated for it. He thought that by, putting it simply, sinking a few battleships, that he would shock the Americans into a negotiated peace, Mr. Sill said. He also oversaw the Battle of Midway. To boost morale following the defeat at Guadalcanal, Yamamoto decided to make an inspection tour throughout the South Pacific. On April 14, 1943, the U.S. Naval Intelligence effort, codenamed MAGIC, intercepted and decrypted a message containing specifics of Yamamoto's tour, including his arrival and departure times and locations, as well as the number and types of aircraft that would transport and accompany him on the journey. MAGIC was an Allied cryptanalysis project during World War II. It involved the United States Army Signals Intelligence Service and the United States Navy's Communications Special Unit. Yamamoto would be flying to Balale Airfield on an island in the Solomon Islands on the morning of April 18, 1943. On April 17, U.S. Admiral Chester Nimitz made the decision to proceed with Operation Vengeance, intercepting Admiral Yamamoto's flight en route and shooting it down. A squadron of P-38 Lightnings were assigned the task as they were the only aircraft that possessed sufficient range to intercept and gauge the targets. The pilots were informed only that they were intercepting an important high officer with no specific name given. On the morning of April 18, 1943, despite urging by local commanders to cancel the trip for fear of ambush, Yamamoto's two Mitsubishi G-4M bombers used as fast transport aircraft without bombs, left Rabul as scheduled for a 315-mile trip. Sixteen P-38s intercepted the flight over Bergainville and a dogfight ensued between them and the six escorting Mitsubishi Zeros. First Lieutenant Rex T. Barber engaged the first of the two Japanese transports, which turned out to be Yamamoto's aircraft. He fired on it until it began to spew smoke from its left engine. Barber turned away to attack the other transport as Yamamoto's plane crashed into the jungle. The other bomber crashed into the ocean. No Japanese Zeros were shot down, although one was severely damaged. Yamamoto's death was a major blow to Japanese military morale during World War II. Yamamoto's body, along with the crash site, was found the next day in the jungle on the island of Bougainville by a Japanese search and rescue party, led by Army Engineer Lieutenant Tsuyoshi Hamasuna. According to Hamasuna, Yamamoto had been thrown clear of the plane's wreckage, his white-gloved hand grasping the hilt of his katana, still upright in his seat under a tree. Hamasuna said Yamamoto was instantly recognizable, head dipped down as if deep in thought. A post-mortem disclosed that Yamamoto had received two 50 caliber bullet wounds, one to the back of his left shoulder and another to the left side of his lower jaw that exit above his right eye. The Japanese Navy doctor examining the body determined that the head wound killed Yamamoto. The more violent details of Yamamoto's death were hidden from the Japanese public. The medical report was whitewashed, changed on orders from above, according to biography Hiroyuki Agawa. Although Operation Vengeance was notable for its target, there was controversy about exactly who shot down the Admiral's aircraft. The U.S. military initially credited Thomas Lanfear with the kill, but it is almost certainty that Re Lieutenant Rex Barber is the only one that shot down Yamamoto's plane. Several ground inspections of Yamamoto's crash site have determined that the path of the bullet impacts validated Barber's account because all visible gunfire and shrapnel damage was caused by bullets entering from immediately behind the bomber not from the right.
If you liked what you see, hit the subscribe button or share. Thank you. This has been Immersus Tech.